Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is now the third video I filmed today, so forgive me for having the exact same um, outfit and makeup and for being sick. I keep saying that over and over again because I've been sick for like two straight weeks and I'm tired of it. But today's video is going to be a review on my experience using a subscription service for fragrances called Scentbird. You might have heard other people talk about it. It is something that I think is very, very mainstream now. A lot of people are using it. A lot of my favorite YouTubers have even using it. I personally did not get sent anything. This is not a sponsored video by any means. I joined Scentbird of my own volition and I have been using them for roughly six months. So if you guys are fans of fragrances and love to try new ones all the time, definitely keep watching. So basically what Scentbird is, is it's a subscription service for perfume fragrances. They have since added things like candles and certain brands of makeup like Tarte, Kat Von D, things like that. Um, so there's definitely a wider variety than there was when I first joined Scentbird. I joined just for the fragrances because I love to try new fragrances without buying a full-size bottle. I love to smell my fragrances on me before I commit to purchasing a full-size because everybody's body chemistry is so different where a fragrance can smell one way on one person and the exact same fragrance can smell completely different on another so it's always good to test out your products before you end up purchasing a full size and spending that much money which is where Scentbird is just amazing you have different tiers that you can do with Scentbird you can either do one fragrance a month you can do two you can raise or lower your subscription every month which is really nice I personally just get one a month because I mean a girl's got like 60 perfumes already I don't need that many but it's nice to be able to try high-end stuff and the nice part is the amount of perfume you get in each subscription um, is like that of a rollerball, but it's cheaper than a rollerball. They also have a lot of prestige brands like Tom Ford. So it is $14.95 a month. It is a monthly recurring subscription. You can cancel at any time with no fees or anything like that. And the best part is you can actually choose your fragrance and queue them up by month. So you can pick what fragrances come to you each month. You can change it around. It's awesome. When you first join Scentbird, with your first shipment, you do receive a little automizer per se, but these are really, really cool. So you get these little labeled fragrances. They are completely authentic. They are 100% legit. They're not knockoffs or anything like that. And you get this little container. Now this container comes in many, many colors. You can order separate ones of these, additional ones of these. It doesn't matter. Um, mine is like a pearlized white, which I love. It's very chic, very pretty. It's not taking up a lot of space. It's fantastic. And it's very safe and protects your uh, perfumes. So basically what you do is you take your little uh, perfume sample that you choose to wear that day, whatever, you slide it into the container. Then you just twist it up to spray, twist it down, and now you can't spray it and it's completely protected and not able to spray around in your purse like all my other ones used to do. It also comes in a really pretty little velvet case if you're into that luxury thing, you wanna carry your thing around in a case, I'm not gonna judge you. So I also wanted to talk about a couple of the fragrances that I have received from Scentbird at my choice. Obviously, like I said, this is not sponsored. They don't know who the heck I am. This is all coming from me as the consumer. So I do have a few that I do wanna talk about to just give you some recommendations of my own as far as what I've found so far that I really, really like. The first one that I have is by Comptua Sud de Pacifique, um, and this is in the scent Vanilla Blackberry. And the notes in here are vanilla, blackberry, jasmine, and rose. I don't smell rose. You guys should know by now, I do not like the scent of rose. It is one of my least favorite scents ever. But this is so beautiful. This smells very fruity, fresh, summery, just light and beautiful. This is not one of those perfumes that I spray on me and I can smell it at the end of the day. It kind of wears off throughout the day, which is fine. It's just a very light, fresh, spritz on and forget it kind of fragrance. Now I will say when I first started doing Scentbird, every month that I got my little um, perfume fragrance sample, I would also get a card and it would have the picture of the full size bottle on it. And then on the back, it would tell you the notes. It would tell you what the ingredients are and an explanation of the scent, which I love having these, but I just got another one actually in the mail like yesterday and um, it didn't come with a card. So I don't know if they just forgot my card or if they stopped doing it. Either way, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that they used to do this. Maybe they still do, I don't know. One that I can tell you that I am in love with, loving. This is actually the one that's been hanging out in my automizer right now. This is by Nest, which I love the Slatkin family. I love Hallmark's Candles, which is her husband, Harry Slatkin. Laura Slatkin is the face behind Nest Fragrances, and they're one of my favorite fragrances of all time. In fact, I have one sitting right next to me right here. Um, this is Nest Paradise, which is fantastic. But this one is Nest Black Tulip. This is such an amazing fall scent. I mean, it's a great year round scent, but in fall especially, I have been loving this. So <clears throat> Black Tulip, the notes are plum, patchouli, violet, pink pepper, and jasmine. Now, 
I will say you don't pick up a lot of the patchouli. It's there, but not in a like hippie kind of way. It really just cuts back on the sweet and floral and makes it very just smooth, if that makes sense. Also, the pepper, you would think it's a spicier scent, and it's not at all. Again, it just adds something under there to make it a little deeper and not as like super bright and floral and fruity. Although it is very fruity, um, it's more of a mild fruity, and it's just... Oh my god, you guys, it's so good. And the strength of the Nest fragrances are fantastic. Absolutely beautiful, and they're actually not overly expensive. As much as you would think would be coming from the Slatkin family, they're not that expensive, which is great. So this is another one that I highly, highly recommend, especially now in this time of year. I will put a bunch of information down in the description box about Scentbird if you guys are interested in joining Scentbird. I will also put my link to, our, like a referral link down there as well if you want to have a direct link over there. I believe if you sign up for Scentbird, both of us get a free scent. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, regardless if you use my link or not, I'm still going to keep Scentbird because I love it. So definitely let me know if you guys have Scentbird and what you think about it, and let me know down below if you plan on picking up Scentbird, and you know, I can give you a ton of perfume recommendations. You all know I have a huge collection. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this little review on the Scentbird subscription service, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.